Welcome to the Transform Your Wealth and Health podcast, where experts in wealth, health, and fitness help transform your life. Here's your host, Andy Arder. Hi, this is step five on the 10 steps to sales success. We've already gone through the first steps already, and we've established that you need to get yourself organized and gather information about your customers. You need to have some pre-sales preparation where you get yourself dressed correctly and the correct equipment ready for doing whatever you need to do. If it's online, totally different from face-to-face, of course. You then need to meet your clients in the appropriate place. So don't go and get yourself in a busy coffee shop if you want to have an intimate conversation, just for an example. And then you need to know their needs, wants, and even more, their desires. Now we're going to go on to establishing rapport and trust and talk about how you can create value. So in episode seven, we went over rapport in quite detail. So if you want to listen to that again, you'll get a good feel for just how to create rapport. But touching on it here, there's quite a few things that you can do. And one of the things that majorly helps is mimicking your customer or client so you can call it mirror imaging if you like but ultimately you're going to be wanting to go to the places that they go doing the things that they do and trying to be another version of them sometimes and this could be the way they dress their tone if you match their tone or even their handshake if they've got a really strong handshake you might want to have a strong handshake too it's a form of mimicking them so that they get a feeling that they are the same as you. You do exactly what they do and they get from that trust and understanding. And it's certain techniques that you can do and they all help. So if they cross their arms, you might want to cross your arms. There's a lot more in episode seven, but you get the feel there for the fact that you want to be doing what they do so that they think that you are another version of them. Ultimately, what you want to be doing is creating a bond between you it's not just that you're friends you know if you you often want to be around people that are like you and we all want to be around people that we know like and trust but you will sell more to people that you have an affinity with so you need to create a bond you know there has to be some kind of bond and trust between you so that you know that they've got the same ethos and ethics as you have and you want to buy from them. So if you're looking at it from the client and customer's point of view, you look at the other person that's opposite you, do you like them? Do you trust them? Do you think that they are like you? Are you going to want to part with your money or give them an order to create some goods or services? Well, you've got to create this bond between you. It's not going to appear magically. You know, you have to create the setting and give them the impression that You are another version of them, you're trustworthy, you can help them, and that what you've got to offer is a good thing. You know the old saying, birds of a feather flock together. So it's a know me, like me, trust me thing, and then you want them to buy from you, of course. There's a lot more to it than that. So they don't have to like you, but it helps, of course. And if you're dealing with people on a regular basis, who wants to be sold to? Nobody wants to be sold to, do they? You know, you want to be buying from friends, but you want it to all have relevancy in your conversation. So sometimes, very often, the last thing you want to talk about is business. You you talk about everything else, from the weather to family to football to whatever it might be, other than business. And then at the end it's a given that you're going to do some business together. So that's a creation of of a a trust, you know, that you've come to see someone and you're not just there to provide a service. You're there to actually be their friend too. So how do you create trust? Not an easy thing to do, but ultimately, if you've provided some past record that you've actually done things and it's all gone really well people will pick up on that to find that you're a trustworthy person so you can give them things for free or you can provide evidence of your previous track record so that might be perhaps testimonials where previous clients have said what a great guy you are and what a good service you provide or if not perhaps name drop some of the big clients and customers that you've got if you've got customers that are well known 
and respected, you can piggyback from their success and use their name to elevate you. If you're able to deal with them, then why shouldn't another customer use you? You know, they, they should be able to use you just as easy as a real big name client. When we try to sell to people, our brain initially, as the buyer, looks at it in a certain way. So we've got various parts of the brain, they give them names, and one of the names that is a generalization is called the reptilian brain. So the reptilian brain is looking for, am I in danger? That's the first thing it is looking for. So when you're selling things, obviously, it's not really a huge amount of danger created. So another thing that it might look for is, do I need to take action? Well, there's something you can pick up on, yeah? You can create within somebody's mind the fact that they need to do something. There's certain things like FOMO, fear of missing out, and deadlines. So if you create that urgency within someone, then you can make sure that they have to take an action. Because if not, it will process it as non-urgent, don't need to make an action on this, and I'm going to pass it on to another part of the brain that's going to deal with it and basically file it. There's also another part of the brain, which is the primate, and this works on things like instinct to take action. So it likes things like trust and value. So looking to create trust, as we were saying previously, you can then, if you're not going to be processed by the reptilian brain, be passed on to the primate part of the brain and you can make a sale from that. It takes a little bit longer. If you're not going to create an instant urgency, it might be a lot better to be processed by the primate part of the brain. So how do you know if you're in rapport or not? Well, you can often see it. It's not scientific, but it basically works on body language you can look at someone and you can tell whether the two people are within rapport or not just from their body language do they look similar are both postures the same both laughing or displaying similar emotions then they're likely to be in rapport rapport is not about people liking each other but more about agreeing with each other and displaying signs that they also have agreement in life, trust each other and are comfortable within each other's company. So ethos and ethics, things like this come into play. If they both agree, then they're likely to be in rapport and you'll notice that from their body language. They'll be looking similar, acting similar. Once you've established rapport, and trust then you have another thing to establish before you can start getting sales and orders and that's value so you've got rapport you've got some trust you're now going to try and get value so how do you show that there's value within your products goods and services well you've got to tell them basically it's as easy as that you've got to display that your product is over and above the competition is it unique well you're gonna to have to say so is it better than the competition then tell them why. Why is your products or services worth buying? So you've got rapport, you've now established trust, and you're gonna create value. Once the value is created, they haven't really got a huge amount of reason to say no. So that's when you're gonna to need to move on and close the sale. And we'll come to that in a future episode. I hope you enjoyed that episode, and until next time, start transforming, your wealth and health now.